YouTube video. I'm Grace of Goodness Gracious. I am an amateur craftsman. Everything I've learned has been from friends, from my husband, through trial and error, and of course, YouTube tutorials such as this one. Except better, because this is my very first one, and it's not that great, but they'll get better. I'm also an amateur DIY at home nail technician, if you will. Meaning, I like to do my own nails because I'm cheap. And who doesn't enjoy a relaxing nail tutorial every now and then? Probably a lot of people, actually, but I know there's people out there like myself who enjoy watching them. So I've got a few of those coming up as well. And stick around till the end of this video and I'll let you know how my manicure stood the test of power tools. I had a lot of fun filming this video and a surprising amount of fun editing it. I definitely learned a lot about what not to do such as turning the camera horizontally and how to make it a little more cohesive. So I hope you'll stick with me. I have a lot of ideas for future videos. I have some builds coming up. I have some furniture flips, some relaxing nail videos, and we're currently renovating the lower half of our house. So we have a lot of content coming up. So I hope you'll join us in the future. Well, that's enough rambling for me. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get into it. To begin, I just found some scrap wood around my garage and planed it down so it would all be an equal thickness. For the herringbone sign, I ripped down the wood to one inch strips. I set my chop saw to a 45 degree angle and cut the ends off of all the pieces of wood to make it easier later. And here I'm just drawing a line down the center of a quarter inch piece of plywood for all the herringbone slices to be glued to. Top saw still at 45 degrees, I began cutting a seemingly endless supply of herringbone slices. And in case you're wondering, yes, the chop saw is broken. of Minwax Spar Urethane. This stuff is graded for outdoor furniture, so it should be perfect for this project. This stuff is quite toxic, so you want to make sure you're wearing a respirator and gloves, and honestly I change my clothes when I go back inside because I just feel like the vapors have absorbed into them and I can still smell it and, you know, it's gross. Attach everything, I'm going to start off by pre-drilling my holes so that the wood doesn't split. I'm then going to go back and countersink those holes so that the screws sit nice and flush to the wood. As you can see, our garage is kind of a mess. The thing is, I was pregnant for what felt like an eternity, and while I laid on the couch and ate donuts and cried, my husband did a lot of renovations, and then our truck got stolen, so we weren't able to, you know, get rid of it. So, am I going to completely gut the garage and redo it? Well, I'm certainly going to try to convince Kevin that we should. I got these numbers off of Amazon and I found the easiest way to make it as perfect as I could was to put the screws in ahead of time and just line it up exactly where I want it and push down so that it leaves marks that I can then pre-drill out so that I can hammer them in after, if that makes sense. Just watch. It, it, watching will make more sense than listening to me.
herringbone sign, it's basically wash, rinse, and repeat. You can never have too many clamps. Or headbands. You can never have too many headbands either. Have one for every sweater so that you always match. Tip of the day. jacknaps and all of that was about maybe five jacknaps worth of work between planing and ripping and chopping and sanding and, and chopping some more and sanding and painting and staining and sanding and finishing and sanding and, finishing and, sanding and, sanding and, sanding and, and there's just so much so sanding much involved. Sanding. When all is said and done, my nails still look pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. That's just a gel and gel, and gel polish. In terms of working hands, I would give this polish four stars. I would give that two hammers out of two. I would give this gel polish five sandpapers out of seven. Yeah, three and a half stars? No, I'm gonna give it four stars. I feel like, you, I mean, sandpaper, sandpaper, it's gonna scuff anything. So, yeah, good job, Jillian. Mm -hmm. 